Sony. You call that a press conference? Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to One Away Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus, aka Right Hand of Zeus. And today we're here because Sony's press conference was last night at 9 o'clock. And I'm going to give you my pros and cons what was good, what was bad, what the hell was missing, and what the hell was they doing. Let's just jump straight into this. First of all, they started off with Uncharted. We know that was dropping. They showed that last year. And it's an expansion, and we're, we're going to get it. We're going to get that. You know, $40 expansion, no problem. We're going to get that. I do have to say this. Sony, you know this was a big E3 for Microsoft. You know you had to bring the guns. And I had a long conversation with one of my homies. We went into a heated debate on what Sony had to do and what they had to bring to win. He said they had to do a little bit and just show games. Yeah, they did show games. They showed every goddamn game from last E3 with some extended trailers. Now, I said to him, I don't need, I want to see those games and long extended play, but I need goddamn dates. When are we going to be playing these games? When? That's what I needed. So when I went into last night's press conference wearing my trusty Sony shirt, I was saying to myself, we're going to get some goddamn dates. Because for them to, to compete with Scorpio in terms of games this year, because, you know, Microsoft showed games this year into next year. And we're going to get into that episode. And I'm going to go down the list of what's dropping this year into next year. Because guys didn't have a problem when Horizon Zero Dawn skipped Christmas to come out in February. Just open your minds. I don't want to hear no nonsense. And if you are sensitive, you don't need to watch this if you are pony. Now, just going to keep it official. Days Gone looks a lot like the Last of Us type game. Not disappointed with that. Showed gameplay. Didn't even have a, a year. So we don't know when that's coming out. Monster Hunter. Dropping on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. That looked fantastic to me because I was not buying it on the Switch. Those games look primitive on the Switch. The community is not as vibrant as the other two systems, and I'm not getting that. But the game looked fantastic. For the president to come out from Sony and say backwards compatibility once again, y'all know I reiterated, I'm going to reiterate on what I said before. He says people don't want to play backwards compatible with games. But then you drop an updated Shadow of Colossus, the original game, remastered. That means people would like to play older games. It may not be your terms of backwards compatibility, but that's an old game. That's a PlayStation 2 game. That's an old game. But look fantastic. I don't know if this generation going to buy that. They didn't buy Last Guardian. They didn't even come close to being interested. So it would be good if people, because that game was good on PS2, it would be good if people of this generation get a chance to play that game. But stop saying backwards compatibility ain't working. 508 million hours game played over half, over half Xbox One owners. Play backwards compatible. It's actually 57%. Now, we're going to get back into this. Let's talk about the PlayStation VR. They showed a few games that wasn't really intriguing or really mind blowing or wow, I have to go buy five, spend $500 to go get that. But they did show support compared to last year's E3 and the last year's 
PlayStation experience. The games look decent. The game Bravo team looked interesting. That's more of a shooter. That's up my alley. And Final Fantasy 15, goddamn fishing. We're not going to discuss that. Now, it showed my game. Another one, because Days Gone is one of them. God of War. Vicious in a Viking setting. Looks dope. Looks dope. Looks dope. I can say nothing about that. Now, Detroit, Become Human, another game that I was hoping for. They, they got no year at all on that game. Destiny, September 6th. We already know about that. Everybody on all platforms is going to have that game. PC is going to get it four months after the September 6th date of console versions. That was a good game. Then... The guy, I'm not going to say his name because I don't like this guy. I miss Jack Trenton. So I'm not saying none of the Sony president's names because they annoy me. But he comes out on stage and says, we, we, we glad we kept your attention for 60 minutes. And then I looked over at the clock and it was 56 minutes from the press conference time start. I said, 56 minutes? This guy better not be ending the show. And he says... We're going to leave y'all with this. And he drops a sick ass Spider-Man trailer. Gameplay trailer. Dope. So I'm hype. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. And then after it's over and I'm hype, they drop the symbol. 2018. Now, I'm looking at the crowd from all these camera angles through the whole press conference is dead. Now, ponies, a.k.a. Sony fanboys, and I'm a Sony guy. I love their first party games. I love Sony first party games. I choose Microsoft multiplayer online service over PlayStation when it comes to multiplayer. But Sony first party is where I'm at. The crowd was stunned that it was over during the press conference. They were sitting down, looking at each other. Never. You could say, we got free donuts and PlayStation symbol shaped donuts. Sony fans, yeah, yeah. There was none of that. Sony, this was the worst press conference you ever had in your life. And you know Microsoft was showing up with some games. For all you naysayers, 42 games versus under 20. Under 20 and the same goddamn games from last year. 95% of those games we saw last E3. We got the PlayStation experience in December to look forward to. I don't know, man. That was depressing. I stayed awake because I was my eyes were so wide and hyped to see something different. I did like Monster Hunter. Every gameplay I saw was dope. No dates. This is why they spent that money on these marketing deals for these third party games. Which was not on the stage. Where was Knack? Mark Cerny's Knack. It's coming out. Um, let me get it just right for you. September 5th at $40. $39.99. Not on stage. Gran Turismo had no date. It was showed in some pre thing. That's the biggest franchise of Sony's existence. That's their biggest franchise. It was not represented on this stage. Was y'all scared of Forza? Because Forza 7 was goddamn amazing looking. Amazing. But this is your big boy. You had nowhere to show him. And, okay, this is for me. Hot Shots Golf. August 29th of this year, online multiplayer, they didn't even talk about it. And Hot Shots Golf is a nice game, and it's really one of their big titles that's been consistent over the years of all PlayStations in existence. No stage presence. No gameplay online. No gameplay on the stage. Guy coming out talking. 
he was talking and he said things to get a crowd reaction and he got nothing and then he had to continue to talk. It was lame. You get two thumbs down. Two thumbs down. Sony, that was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I know y'all saying Lemon is being hard on him. No, I'm not being hard on him. That was really bad. And I called my boy who was animated about how Sony's going to kick ass. He's a Sony dude. He said that was the worst shit he's seen from Sony ever. That's all the news your boy Lemetheus got for you. I'm still working on my Microsoft uh, response because it's so many games. I don't know if I can cover it in one episode. If you like and subscribe, it is greatly appreciated. And thanks to all the people who came out and supported me on my live streams. Hopefully, we can look forward to tonight or today the Nintendo Direct press conference or whatever they're doing. Because, you know, they different like Apple. But I'm looking forward to that because I've been highly disappointed from Sony. That's all I got for you. I got to go get some Red Bull to get my spirits back up. They disappointed the shit out of me. And I'm out, chill.